is not just it's with the irresponsibility <laughs>up guys long time no see uh i figured i'd do a shop tour today um i got this thing set up probably um two weeks ago and um it's pretty awesome it's not as big as my last shop um i definitely have lost half of the space but um i'm pretty satisfied overall with my layout um I, which i did have a lot of time to think of um when we knew we were moving uh, I moved the home first, the home part of our move. I uh, got that all set up. And then I came back later on once everyone was cozy um, in the house. And then I came back and did my shop. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And I wanted to give you guys a little tour. So here we go. The one thing I do want to work on is my lighting situation, as you see right here. I just have like an LED floodlight hanging up for this side of the shop. Um, and then I have in this side, I'm just using the light fixture with a three LED light that I got from the hardware store. It's too bright, you can't see. Um, another downfall is I am sharing this space with a washer and dryer and refrigerator, my extra fridge for it's pretty much drinks. Um, it's not necessity, but uh, it does it does help us with a house a house of six. So, yeah, here's uh, the back side of the garage, which I have my dust collector that's not plumbed yet. I'm working on that. I just plumbed one uh, flex hose to my table saw. And later on, uh, when I have the time and money, I will be running uh, flex hose over to my radial arm and my chop saw here. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. These, um, I got these benches at Harbor Freight on sale during the holidays. So I got two of these and this helps a lot. Before... Um, if you never realized in my videos, I had, uh, I had my saws just set up on saw horses and some two by fours running along. So I decided to scrap that idea and, um, do something more permanent. Uh, what I did build with those two by fours is this, um, table saw outfeed table. I built this in one day with some uh, 90 90% 90 scrap. So it's doing uh, justice right now. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Not as pretty as I like, but later on down the road, I'll be doing some uh, shelving in here, a uh, drawer across here, as you can see, I have my dust collection that runs from under the saw to my uh, hose port right here. So yes, it is a tight space. I don't have a whole lot of room like I did in the other two car garage. This is a single car garage. Um, and like I said, I am I am pretty satisfied. I did have some time to lay it out the way I wanted to on paper and um, it helped a lot definitely. These two rolling caddies right here. I have uh, my toolbox in one and some other tools that I don't really use in the other. And um, I use milk crates over here to I have like my my circular saw in one, my um, some extension cords in the other, you know, stuff that I use on an everyday basis. So it definitely, uh, it definitely helps to have a lot of available storage like this. I was going to um, build a French cleat system, but I got these for free. So these work great. 
Um, I have a lot more of the hooks to put on if I want to reconfigure. Um, so yeah, these are these are great. It it uh, it helps me a lot with the tools that I use every day. Yeah, I got these Porter cables recently for free from a buddy TK. He uh, he knew I needed a sawzall and everything, but he said, "Hey, if you're gonna take these, you're gonna take them all," which I appreciate because I use I use them a lot too. Um, my spindle sander and my planer. Those can be rolled out. I can move those onto the table if I need be. They're not actually um, bolted down right now until I figure out what I want to do uh, with those. Over here we have the CNC and the vinyl cutter under here. Eventually I'm going to put it on a shelving, or I'm, I'm sorry, a, a pull out shelf with some bearing rollers to um, have it more accessible under there. So here we got the brains of the operation with the CNC and the vinyl machine. I also have my my TV up here which is a good size TV. Um, with TVs nowadays uh, one of the boys got a new TV for Christmas so I grabbed the old one and I have a new one for the shop um, which is great. I wanted a little more room uh, for my saw horses and um, my pipe clamps for my wavy flags here. So instead of having two saw horses here, what I did was I, I cut some holes in the uh, table that I built so I can easily slide the easily slide the pipe clamps into there. It's all level and I can start carving and doing what I need to do um, for the wavy flags. So yeah, I thought that was a great idea. I just did this a couple days ago before, actually the same day that I glued this up. So and then over here, I still have my assembly area, which is pretty much just an old table that I use. It works great. I have my 90 degree on here and I just uh, put the flags when I want to assemble it on there and just clamp it and tack them together. So. Yeah, here it is. It's not too bad. It is fairly small, but like I said, um, I got to lay it out how I wanted to, and it's working perfect so far. I'm really excited about starting to build again. I cut uh, four flags and glued one up yesterday, and then I have one here to deliver. And um, yeah, I'm excited to start working again. So there you have it. A quick tour for the new shop. Um, I'm gonna get to work. I got uh, five, nine, ten. I'm gonna try to put together about six, seven flags today. I got about ten to put together, but that's kind of uh, it's kind of impossible to, to make ten today. Um, so stick around, watch me work. These are custom flags. I have something to put in for that last stripe that I'm missing. Um, paint some stars on it and call them good. I got two of them I need to send out by tomorrow. So just some paint. Uh, should be good. Decided to take a break for a little bit. I went and grabbed a package from the old house. Forgot to change over my Amazon account and uh, ordered two packages and they both went there. So I just came back from uh, getting them. Seeing that uh, Nurse Real is, li is live right now, so I've been uh, 
hanging out for a bit, watching watching the uh, doctor and nurse. Um, other than that, I got a few things that I want to finish today, but I don't know if I'm going to. Um, I need to start grinding on this wavy flag. Uh, I just don't want to make the mess. Anyway, I'm probably going to put my uh, earmuffs on and get started with this. The uh, package that I did pick up was the remote control outlet um, for my dust collector. I didn't even think about it, but it was uh, too small of amperage for my dust collector. So I'm going to have to get a bigger one later on down the road. I'm not worried about it right now. So yeah, as soon as I plugged it in, it popped it and fried fried this, the uh, outlet already. So, oh well, I'll just have to uh, stop being lazy and reach back there and turn it on when I use it. takes me longer to clean the shop than it does to make one. So we got sawdust to have about halfway. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm gonna do for the night. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good start. I'll uh, carve, rough carve the second half tomorrow and then Thursday finish it up. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I got half the flag carved today, at least rough carved anyway. I'm going to sweep this crap up, call it a day, uh, clean the shop, and uh, go spend some time with the family. Um, if you're new here, thanks for subscribing. I've had a lot of new subscribers within the last couple months. Um, I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, click that red button, subscribe, hit that bell. Hit that like button. Hell, even if you don't like the videos, give me a thumbs down at least. If you're going to watch my shit, give me a thumbs up or down. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.